morning, guys. Welcome to Thursday. I can't believe it's already Thursday. We are getting our school on. Um, and Sam is making croissants this morning because who doesn't love a yummy croissant? They have to rise. It's really nice. Sophie's saving her breakfast for croissants. She's super excited. All right, everyone wants to know, Gabby. Okay, actually, nobody actually ever asked. What did you get in the mail yesterday? People are dying to know. Oh yeah, nobody actually asked. <laughs> what did you get though? It was something exciting. AirPods. She bought AirPods. Gabby may be cheap. She doesn't buy a lot of things. And so when she does buy something, she always buys something expensive. Let's show them. So uh, you guys might have seen in one of the, actually I don't think, I don't know if I showed it, but she bought this skin. Before they were made in China, now they're made in Vietnam. Yeah, the world's changing guys. Oh, this they is They ditched China. Soft. This is soft. Anyways, she lost her other ear pod, AirPods, so she had to buy a new pair. And then she bought this skin at the dollar store, attached it to a lanyard. That I wanted to show. Let's show them. We're back to this kind of girl. Well, Gabby, you got blue marker. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're using blue pen. All right. So, Gabby got AirPods. It comes off with water. Okay, so I have a tip. If you're ever hot in school, just bring a spray bottle, but make sure it's a little one. Yeah, that's that's what I would do. <laughs> Sam is home. He is working from home. What are you working on there, Sam? Share with the good people how hard you'd be working. working on a good movie. On a good movie. What movie are you watching at work, Sam? I'm watching the Legacies series. The Legacy series. Oh. Sam, do you and I watch TV together? Sometimes. Very rarely, right? Yeah. I'm not a TV person. Oh, Sam is a TV we, person. We just started a new show like a couple days ago and we started watching it again last night. Yeah, Sam and Sophie are my TV watchers together. Gabby actually likes it too. Yeah, and Gabby does watch TV. So uh, good at morning to today. Today is a penny day and I am excited. I had found out yesterday in the course that there's something I have to be, we have to be teaching our ponies and we're not teaching them. And that's gonna be a struggle because we've tried it before. It's called the cheek hold and Penny does not like it. Gracie loves it. Gracie loves the cheek hold. Gracie, I believe probably would love the cheek so hold. So far I haven't lost these. It hasn't yeah. been 24 hasn't hours Hasn't been 24 yet, hours. But I haven't lost them yet. Okay, okay. does okay. Willow like the cheek hold? No. No. So it's going to be hard. But it's harder for me because I'm... I'm going to win at anything with the cheek hold in it. She's so, like, so close to the ground that I have to go on my knees and, like, cheek hold. So then we have little Miss Daisy here who likes to go in the garbage now. This is the new thing. Oh, Ruby, Molly. Molly's like, don't, don't like her. I'm better. And Ruby's like, I'm better. But I just want to... Molly. I just want to show them that she's doing bad things here. That is bad. And this is the problem that we have in our house. She chews everything she's not supposed to chew. That's that's the truth about Daisy. Guys, guys. Gabby, Sophie, you're not keeping up on watching your dog. Listen to the ASMR. That's Sophie's homemade poppet. She ordered one, it hasn't come yet. All right, so before we start today's video, I'm excited to start today's video. All right, so before we start today's video, I just wanted to address some concerns. You guys are all worried, if some of you guys are worried about our new bearded dragon situation. You guys know that I promised Sophie she could get a bearded dragon because I want a bearded dragon. And a lot of you guys are like, no, it's rocket science. And let me tell you, it is rocket science. Yeah, like nonstop research. It's been fabulous though. I'm the kind of person that feels like learning new things is a huge challenge. And it, it, and it, it inspires me. Like every, like if I'm just sitting around doing nothing, I go crazy. I always have to be learning and changing and growing. And so learning new things about our animals, about ourselves, really it makes me happy so getting a new bearded dragon is not an imposition for me i'm loving the whole process loving learning it i noticed a lot of people have concerns already before we even shared with you our setup that we're not going to have the right setup i know you guys want the best for us i know you don't want us to make mistakes you i know you want to keep our new bearded dragon as safe as possible just know that we are making the best decisions that we can 
and uh, we got lots of help. We have a breeder, we have, t my niece has a bearded dragon, my sister has had bearded dragons like for years. Um, uh, I have a friend that is a pet store owner. I have the support of her breeder, like really, really strong support of her breeder. So, we got it under control, but it's true. People are saying like, if you make one mistake with a bearded dragon, they die, and it is true. Like definitely true like they are hard so it makes it even more exciting for me to take on this venture and see how we can get it going so Sylvie will be doing like a um, tank tour soon and she'll be introducing you guys to the bearded dragon I already shared that it's a girl even though girls are harder than boys did you know bearded dragon girls are harder than boys because there's like the whole egg situation boys don't have eggs and sometimes eggs can cause problems but anyway if she wanted a girl and we're getting a girl got a girl and so yeah we're gonna introduce you guys soon it's exciting but anyway let's get on with the video and thank you guys for caring enough to want us to make the right choices for us it means a lot this is the coat that I wear out places and I put my hand in there last night and I found this bag of screws never seen it before in my life we don't even I don't even know where it's Ikea. Ikea like where would where the heck would we get that Whatever you bought from Ikea. I didn't buy anything from Ikea. Oh, maybe it's for the cage. The terrarium thing. I don't think so. That's weird. Hold on. Hold on. Gabby's going to smell them. <laughs> not from the, not for the cage. Okay. Anyway, somebody put something in my pocket. I don't know how it happened. The only person that wears that coat is you, so you put that in. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm either getting Alzheimer's or I don't know what's happening. But anyway, we're headed down. I work with our ponies. I'm excited. I'm gonna show you guys what the cheat code is. It's the one that I'm dreading using. All right, she's not there. Where is she? She always meets me. Oh, there she is. Hi, Ben. Don't poop in here because it freezes and I can't pick it up. Be nice. You have to be nice. Hey. Be kind. I'll be back, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Okay, you want a licorice? Well, she's got, look at her face. She must have just icicles. came in for a drink. She's got icicles on her whiskers. Don't video the stall. Sophie's peeing in the stall. I can't tell you how many times I've edited videos and I've been like, yeah, and then this happened. And then when I'm edi editing in the background over here, it will be Sophie peeing in the stall. And I'll be like, mm, better cut that out. Could you imagine? Like, Sam. Okay, so how we edit. I'm going to fill my pockets with treats. And I'm going to tell you guys how we edit. Always look in your bag of treats for mice. Because let me tell you, that's happened to me before. So, okay, this is how we edit. So, Sam usually, like, puts all the video onto the computer. And then he goes through it and splices it together. Cuts out all the, like, Sophia peeing. <laughs> all the... Like, when there, there have been times when we've caught things in the background by mistake that you guys would not have wanted to see. So, he cuts that all, like, he cuts all the junk out, and then I come, and then I put, like, the spin on the video. So, I, I like the music. I put the music, and I put the, like, I, I move things around, and, and I cut out all the mess. junk, because he leaves, like, a lot of junk. A lot of dead air. There's, like, a lot of dead air. It just, we just... I cut it all out and then I splice it together and put music and like make it into a story. I like when our days turn out into a story. Well, Sam does not have good vision or good hearing or good something because he leaves like, I'm like, Sam, there's Sophia peeing in the background. He's like, what? I didn't see that. Like he doesn't, he doesn't see that stuff. So yeah, like, I I'm very good. There's no spot to hide. Oh. Wow, our barn is getting full, filled up with winter stuff. Okay. All right. So I do not know what's happening. Feed your. Feed your. Sophie's trying to uh, catapult Gabby into the sky, and it did not work. It's a car lifter upper. She's she's Sophie is attempting to lift Gabby up to the sky. Okay. Listen. Fill your pockets. One of the struggles with filling your pockets is that if you have mitts, 
they all the treats stick to your mitts. It's hard to do. Wow, well, yeah. Not your mitts. Okay. She's like, I knew you would come back for me. So basically, uh, we're gonna work with our pony. Well, I only we only have two more days to work on the eight ABCs. I told you guys, honey pickle. You have to go down to the far end. All right. I told you guys that the, in our course we're doing the eight ABCs. Ooh. And they are, let's see if my girls know them. This is how we're gonna get our horses oh, to bob us. Started to charge at you. <laughs> hey, Sophie, she doesn't like that. What she shouldn't do to me. Okay, hey, Sophie, what are the eight? Come on, quick, eight ABCs. Tell me four ABCs. Um, um, sideways, hips, shoulders, head down, up, which is picking up your foot. Um, 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 neutral. Neutral. And I told you before. Yeah, like I can't remember. She got them mostly all right. Though. The one thing. Uh oh. Get away from me! Stop, Sophia. Be kind and gentle in front of her, or she won't be that way in front of you. So one. Uh, so basically, the A A B Cs are the way that we're kind of learning. Um, oh my goodness, it is crazy in here today. Uh, is how we're learning to teach our horses liberty without whips and tools and ropes and nothing like that. Like not even a halter, nothing, like no bridle. So one of the ways that we have to do it is by our natural bridle is your hand. So we're gonna be like directing our horse. Today is called the cheek hold. That's the hardest one. I hate doing it. My horses hate it. All of them hate it. Apparently it's the most important one. I haven't been doing it. So we're gonna kind of show you guys. I'm gonna sit you. This is where I sit you up here on the stairs so you won't fall down as long as the cat doesn't come. Hopefully you guys can, okay, hopefully you guys can see everything. Let's get ready. You did not get clean today at all. Your dad did not clean you. No, I know, and you don't like it. Those dogs need to go in the other room. No, I'm gonna cry. Oh, we already did like three of them. Three of them. Can't work with a dirty pony. You just can't do it. All right. Stumbling out of bed, and I still got you in my head. From all those pretty words you said, it's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted, and I won't waste it. And I promise that I. I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it I'll follow you, yeah Okay so hopefully you guys can see what's happening here. But now we're gonna try the cheek hold. Can you move out of my spot? I have nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit chaotic here. Everybody be fighting. You guys can see that there's some smoke happening. Some. <sighs> see if I can put the camera somewhere else. Oh, she's like, wait a minute. We're not done yet. All right, hopefully we don't crash the camera. Okay, so the, so the cheek hold is basically using my arm around her cheek as a halter and getting her to move where I want her to move, which is gonna be tricky. Okay, so, so. I don't want to slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I
I will stand by you forever And I won't waste it pretty good with all of them except for two one of them's a little bit iffy but we're, we're doing great we only have a few more days till the next thing good Gabby that's so good so can you do that Sophie all that side stepping all like Finn and Storm do it Storm can do it walk trot and trotting right? yeah she calls it sideways so there I'm we go I want her. Don't be mean to my girl. I want you. I want you. Mom, did you do up? Good girl. Yeah, up is her easiest. She already did up before I even got her. All right, up with Penny. I have to really work on the cheek hold. Sophia, how to do the pass over or whatever? You just tell them to move over. How would you do it in cross test, Sophia? Oh. Hi, Penny. So I go one front, back, back, front. That's the pattern she's used to. <laughs> Gubby's like, kiss me, pony. Okay. Oh, her mouth is so warm. So the cheek one, you're, you're meant to be able to guide them with your hand. Like, come on, come forward, come forward, kind of thing. But there are ways to do it b before she does that. So. Okay. Sophie's using two hands. I used two hands. You alright here, Mom? Yeah. <gasps> yes! She did it! She moved a little, Sophie. Give her a treat for that. That was really good. You, you have to treat? give her a treat right away as soon as she does it before she backs You're up. Right here. Okay, show me how you do it. Feel this bone. Okay, show them how you do it. I know, that's exactly what this I did. Bone, yeah. That's what I feel. Okay. I just put it right where it like ends. Okay. So like right along it. Okay. So like that. So Alright. Okay, show it to us. No, I taught her was she wouldn't walk. She would just shake her head. So I did a little I yes. Put a leg on her stomach and just oh. did a little squeeze because she gets oh, headed, so she inventive. All right. So show us how you do it. They all have ice on their. Yes. Yeah, see, she can just drag her pony anywhere with that cheek hold. I don't have any more treats. Here, I got treats. Yeah. I literally. Give her treats right here so we don't back up. Yeah, so that's another thing. You don't, like, you don't. She just turned her head she did instead really of back. So. Yeah, okay. And she can... She's used to being ridden, so I can jump on her whenever I want. I can also jump Yeah, on... this pony is a really yeah. easy going pony. Like, the only thing she does is eats, puts her head down and eats grass. Yeah. All right, so let's see if we can get her going again. So the thing that I found with Penny is that she doesn't get it, she doesn't get it, she doesn't get it. And then I'll come back like tomorrow and she'll get it. So the other thing the like the huge switch in my brain that's been happening through this course is that before, if Penny didn't do what we wanted her to do, that would be considered right, bad. Now. So, oh, I forgot to do back up with her. So yeah, like in conventional training, if the horse doesn't do what you wanted to do, it's considered not listening, bad behavior, whatever. But the way that we're training, the way we're training in this course is that is that um, if she doesn't if she doesn't listen, it's because she's not fully understanding, and that was a big switch for us. Listen, Tony. Hey, no, hey. <laughs> no. That was bad, Petty Pickle. Don't. Don't come to me. <laughs> Never seen her like that before, but she will. She's like, she, oh, that was nerve-wracking. Goodness, it was Gabby. Uh, she will, like, if she sees the cat, she will, or the dog, she'll be like, oh, ew. She's going for the cat. Yeah, she was going for the cat. She pins her ears and she lunges at the cat, but Gabby was. Stop, like, like, that far away from my hand. 
Yeah, she's not like, she's not, well, Penny Pickle, how am I gonna describe that? How am I gonna explain what you just did? Missed it. You bad girl. I missed everything. I know, I'm always missing everything. All right, so I have my mare all settled up. We're gonna ride outside. You guys should know. You guys should know that she did fabulous without the, she was hardly girthy and her eyes are clearing up again. So what I think happened, why her eyes got all gunky again, is because we added a new supplement to her feed. I feel like she definitely must have liver issues. I don't know, I don't know enough about it, but we added a new supplement, which is for her hind gut health, and boom, her eyes got cloudy. She's working through it. Door! Door! Door, 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 door. Oh because Penny loves the dogs. Um, so, I feel like she's working through the supplement. She's used to it. Oh, Daisy dog is down. Can you hear me? I okay. Sad. She, she was in her cage. Aw, did you hear that, you guys? Sophie felt sad that she was locked in her cage, so she Can brought it down. I need to put Penny and Gabby in a room together and let them figure it out, because Penny is terrified. Gabby just made a big, huge sound. Scared Penny. See, she's scared of you. Come on. There we go. What could be cuter than that? A nose full of snow. Me. I'm scared, you guys. I'm scared. How many of you guys have said that? I'm scared. How many of you guys have admitted it? I'm scared. We haven't ridden outside in a while. I'm scared about the footing. It's powdery. I don't think it's slippery. I think we're going to be okay. I'm nervous. But when you want something bad enough, sometimes you have to agree to just be scared and do it anyway. You have to <sighs> take a deep breath. You just have to be like, come on, Penny, we can do this. And you just have to do it. Like some things you have to do. Set yourself up for success. I've done everything right. Brought people to help me. I'm so excited to ride my girl outside and she'd be calm. All right, is there some place I should avoid? Huh? Is there some place I should avoid? Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Mm -hmm. I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough all the damn time. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong. I'm ready for the rematch. so cold get over yourself are you for real mm -hmm. why are you looking at me so cold one's love is now we're enemies <laughs> you try to make yourself feel better by taking me down once i fell but now i'm strong i'm
<laughs> Boom, shut up. Drop it. Sophia, Sophia. Dad's coming. I'm gonna die. Good girl, Penny. Penny. Are you done? Would you like to try? Yeah. No. That was the best. That was glorious, you guys. I don't know if you could hear me screaming. I was just belting out, You Are My Sunshine. That's Penny and my song. And she was calm and now I'm giving her a few minutes to forage for grass and for a horse a domesticated horse this might this must be glorious like this must be like look at the peace in her eyes she must just feel so happy to be digging in the snow and digging for grass and I want her to have that because of what she just gave me like those minutes that I get to like get out the hair and ride my horse it, it like I can't tell you how much fun like that was even though it wasn't for long and it wasn't like she got exercise or anything we're building a rapport we're building she still bosses me around i need lessons for sure but it took a lot of bravery to ride in the snow because gabby didn't know if it was safe and fiona wasn't answering it felt safe it's not slippery we, we weren't slippery at slip we weren't sliding at all oh, man like i can't tell you like i see a life beyond my kids now like i this is the first thing i've ever done for me oh I'm so grateful, so grateful. I'm so grateful for this life. Like, when you ride a horse, for all you guys who don't understand, when you ride a horse, especially a horse that you love, you get this feeling of euphoria. Wait, she's itchy, I gotta scratch it. Imagine having an itch and you couldn't get it and it was just driving you bonkers. I gotta get it for her, yeah. Things like that are what make your horse love you. Okay, all right, all good, yeah. I used to think that that's what made your horse love you and now taking the course, I've learned, that's what makes your horse love you. Taking those minutes to say, yeah, I hear you, I see you, let me help you out. All right, so we are headed out now to do something really fun. And uh, I just wanna thank you guys, like especially you guys who are interested. A lot of you guys sent me messages saying that you're actually interested in mine and Penny's journey. You know, all we do is just walk around a little. It, it makes me feel good to know that you guys are on my side. It like, gives me motivation. It gives me inspiration to hear your words. I just can't express it. Like, you guys know what it feels like when you're bursting. Like, I was singing at the top of my lungs because I was so happy on that ride. It was glorious, you guys. Can't wait to do it again. Right, so we stopped at Costco and we have a van full of, can you take my purse? Got a van full of horse blankets. And now we're gonna have a van full of big box stuff. Finally got the dogs a new bed. I've been dying to find this bed. So if we got a new blanket, uh oh. <sighs> and a little rug for her room. No, it's cold when you can't even stand to put the groceries in. I don't know if you can see. Oh, my hands are ice cold. Ice cold. And when they're cold, they hurt. Like when your hands, for any of you guys who live in a nice climate where it never gets this cold, when, and it takes seconds for your hands to get cold. And when they get this cold, they hurt. They ache right down to the bone. They hurt so bad. Because when your hands are ice cold and then they warm up. And then when they warm up, they hurt they again. Like don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way you are Just the way you came Don't you know that you're beautiful Don't you know that you're beautiful